After I did the Doors movie, uh, which was a huge shoot, and I did a good, I, I, I was really prepared, did a good job, but you know, because I was a nobody, and they kind of like a lot of people didn't like me because I was just nobody doing this major job. But then I went and did, uh, from that spe what they call a special photo shoot, I went and did unit photography on a lot of uh, uh, smaller non-union films. I wasn't in the camera union at the time. Then I remember in 1992, I was, uh, you know, I was driving on Olympic Boulevard and my pager went off. It was a day of pagers, so I pulled over into a, a supermarket and returned the call. And it was um, uh, Don Levy, who was the head of uh, still photographs at Paramount Pictures at the time. And he goes, he goes, you want to do your first studio film as a unit photographer? I said, yeah. And uh, so it was a film called The Temp which was um, at the time with uh, Timothy Hutton, Lara Flynn Boyle, and Faye Dunaway, and it was going to be filmed in, uh, filmed in Portland, Oregon. And uh, so I went up there, and um, you know, I had done maybe like four or five non-union films then, and this was my film that was going to matriculate me into the union. And uh, I, you know, I learned a lot on that film because I had wanted to, uh, be on, a, on a movie set, the, uh, you know, you have a hundred or so crew members all vying for space and it's kind of very competitive. And I was a little mellow, wanted to be back, you know, lay, you know, hang back a little more and use a little longer lens to get in there. And the uh, Don and Paramount said, no, you got to use a wider lens and get in closer. And um, so I was doing okay with that. But um, when I, when Faye Dunaway came on the set and she was by this time probably in her mid fifties, uh, she was very hypersensitive to my lens, and she wouldn't let me photograph her, even during rehearsals. And I could even be, uh, you know, hiding behind someone with the lens, you know, poking through their legs and arms. And she'd go, not now, dear, we'll do a different take for you on that. So that was, uh, you know, kind of, I wouldn't say my worst experience, but it was just something where I had to learn to deal with, uh, with someone like that. And it was interesting because, um, Flash from that point in time. Uh, one day we were on a uh, on a dark on the dark movie set in between takes, and I hear her calling. You know, after she wouldn't let me photograph for like a month, I hear her calling my name from the darkness. Robert, where are you? And I go up and it's dark. You know, in the darkness with no light. She's she's draped on this dolly with her legs and this beautiful skirt. It's like a classic shot, but it was very low light. But fortunately, I had some high speed film in my camera and uh, photographed this, made this photograph of her uh, sitting on the dolly with, you know, her beautiful legs and it's, a, it's kind of a classic Hollywood photograph. But um, that was 1992, then uh, flash forward like to 2003 and I'm in Los Angeles uh, and I'm in Sammy's Camera, the big camera store there, and uh, it's a Sunday afternoon about five minutes before they closed and I'm hanging out at the video counter and she comes running, Faye comes in in her sweats, uh, doesn't recognize me, but she's trying to get this particular video camera for her son, who's an aspiring filmmaker. And um, they didn't happen to have that camera, but I happen to have that camera. So I, I said, Ms. Dunaway, and I, she didn't remember who I was. I said, you know, my name's Robert. I happen to have that camera in my apartment. And she goes, oh, can I come over and look at it? So I. I was at the time was riding my bike and I told her where it was, we met, and she spent like an hour in my apartment looking at the camera. And at the end I said, you know, Faye, I was the photographer on the movie The Temp and uh, you wouldn't let me photograph you at all on the set. And she goes, she goes, oh, I know, I'm a real pain in the ass. <laughs>